Hello ladies, today as requested, I am doing a video um, about my makeup routine, especially for the videos. So for the videos, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury products because they are the best for the video. Um, they just are so pigmented and so easy to apply that um, this is my preference and I prefer my, myself, my skin and my makeup when I use those products. So I'm going to share with you uh, step by step how am I applying, especially um, eyeshadows because I know this is the most confusing part and I've already applied a little bit of foundation and I'm using um, Airbrush Flawless and in fact, yes, it is effect of Airbrush Flawless foundation and um, it's great effect it's kind of not much not um you know uh, gooey it's something in between and it's quite natural but yet it's pigmented and it really covers great so that's the foundation and i'm just going to cover a few beads here that i have on my forehead they're just like bits of pigmentation so i'm just going to cover them up with the um with the magic away and i'm just going to tap it in with my fingertips and just maybe a little bit more. I try not to use too much um, um, concealer because it tends to make my my makeup heavy. So I actually put the concealer after I put the foundation because I just put it whenever I, f I, I feel like sh I should. So I don't want to be putting it beforehand because then my makeup tends to be a little bit too heavy. Uh, so what I'm doing next now, I'm going to apply um, Firm Star Bronze and Glow. So this is the product, this is also Charlotte Tilbury, and it's that um, um, deeper shade of uh, bronzer, and we have a kind of um, sun bronzer with the uh, shimmery bead, and we have matte um, bronzer a bit for sculpting, so for, uh, for that reason. I'm not really that great in sculpting, but I'm definitely going to use it a little bit. And the brush I'm using, it's that kind of a small brush. So I'm just using it very delicately on my cheekbones. And I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer as well. And the bronzer kind of goes around my face. And, you know, I try not to be too generous, but, but I'm also making sure that I apply it equally and I apply on the top of my nose normally and making sure that I'm actually defining my cheekbones because this is my um, signature makeup. I love bronzers and I love um, applying it on my cheekbones. So that's it. My face is now prepped and let's do very quickly um, eyeshadows. So basically, um, I have two uh, Charlotte Tilbury palettes and I have the uh, Pillow Talk and I have the Golden Goddess. And today I'm, you know, I'm going to show you very quickly. Um, so that's the Golden Goddess and um, super neutral and I love them. But for today, I'm going to use the Pillow Talk because it's definitely going with my outfit. And my trick to, if you own any of these palettes, the four palettes, if you're doing a full makeup and you want to use all the colors and get the effect of the smoky eye, which I know that this is the reason why you asked me for the video, I have a simple system. So I apply them colors, all of them, and I go from the lightest, that I apply almost on my all um, uh, eye here. And then I go and I show you actually. So what I'm doing, I'm actually applying the whole, the lightest color, which is uh, Prime Prepper. So I'm applying this one. And I'm applying on the other one the same i'm quite generous i don't really do use brushes because i think that i get the best feel with my fingertips and that's been my method always i i i never ever use the little brushes if you feel like using the brushes just do whatever you feel it's comfortable for you but for me i find um that method the best and the application is the easiest for me. And then when I'm going to the little darker um, 
shade. I'm just applying it close to my um, eyelashes and I'm applying it just like that. Like that. It's a um, very neutral color, but yet you can still that it's uh, pigmented so you it stands out. It's all very glittery and um, you need to remember when you're wearing pillow talk, I wouldn't wear it during the day. Really. Um, maybe I would apply only a little bit, but when you're doing an evening uh, makeup or video makeup or photo makeup, this is a fabulous, fabulous um, colors. And then I'm going to um, get a little bit more um, complicated. So I'm doing now the color, um, which one is that? Smoke Umber. So this is the kind of orangey bead and I'm just doing the V. So I'm just doing a V like that. There we go. So I'm just doing V. I'm not applying it on the whole thing, but I'm doing kind of like a V letter. Um, and that's the, that's the effect that's there. And I'm doing the same on this one. So just like that. Just like that. That's my V letter. I'm just going to, you know, Charlotte Tilbury products are quite pigmented, but yet I tend to be quite generous, especially when you're dealing with neutral colors. This is not bright, uh, bright pink or bright blue. You can really, um, you know, use quite a bit of product there and enjoy it. So for the last bead, um, the darkest color, which is a pop since um, tiller, um, I'm just taking the tiniest bit, just like on my fingertip, and I'm just doing it in the corner, just like that. So that's the smoky effect, and I'm just doing it like that, and I make sure that I really work it, so it kind of gets blend in. So I'm using that, just in the corner. So basically what you need to do, you need to go with the palette, if you're going for the whole smoky eye, you need to go with the palette and you apply less and less, the darker it gets, you apply the less of the product. So that's my smoky eye. And of course I'm missing something. I have Charlotte Tilbury um, eyeliner, but I'm still learning how to use it um, and I'm going live in uh, 15 minutes, hence I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use my Bourjois um, pencil um, eye, um, uh, eyeliner, but it's kind of pencil, so it's um, very easy to use. And what I do normally when I do eyeliner, I never use a big, a big mirror. I just use a small mirror from the palette. So I'm just doing a little bit under my eye, but I try to keep it quite, you know, smoky. So I don't really do the, the fine line because I believe that this makes you look a bit older. So I'm just doing a smoky eyes by kind of not doing a line, but just kind of working it like that. And normally now what I do after I do that line and I'm also quite generous with the with the aligner, I just put a bit of a middle color, the orangey one, and I just put it back here, cover up a little bit of the of the eyeliner, and that's the effect. Okay, I'm just doing that and the same exercise. And when it comes to the color of your eyeliner, you can really do, um, you can do a brown or your neutral, like you can do black as well, but I would just be very careful with black because um, 
that's from my experience i think black for blonde girls it's a little bit much so maybe just go for graphite if you really want to go darker so here the same exercise i'm just going to cover up my eyeliner a little bit so that's the effect i'm having now um looks nice already and for the it's getting um a bit late but i just really want to show you step by step and i'm just using um which one is uh, that's actually l'oreal um mascara which is actually fairly good mascara i recommend you l'oreal mascaras it, they are actually for the price range they are actually very very good so suddenly i have eyes i always m m mess with my friends that i have to paint my eyes because my um eyelashes even though they are quite long they are blonde and you can't really see them without the mascara and i'm not really a girl who does lash extensions i'm more into natural look so that's the that's the full eye with the um with the eyelashes done and the eyeliner um you might be wondering what am i doing with the eyebrows so that's just my eyebrows i'm not doing anything with my eyebrows just today they need to be done and it's lockdown five in Ireland so hence I don't really have possibility to have them done professionally and I'm not touching my eyebrows by myself because it's going to be a disaster and I know it so I'm just finishing my eyes let me show you that's my eyes And also I get a question, do I use uh, mascara at the bottom of my um, eyelashes? Yes, I do. I know that some makeup artists don't do it. I, I think it brings the definition to my eyes and they look, they pop out more. So that's the, mm, that's the eyes. And what I do, I just look at my makeup um, kind of from the distance. I'm happy with it. It's not too much. It's actually perfect. And I'm going to use my um to, to, to angel um angel else is, is sandra um that's the uh lipstick it's also charlotte tilbury and it's super neutral and it's my neutral it's kind of warm um kind of warm neutral uh Pink. and that's my routine that's my makeup i hope you enjoyed it i might put a little bit of bronzer just before i go live to put more life into my face and that's um my makeup for my live video and i used mostly charlotte tilbury and my um eyes are pillow talk that's the and that's the uh, palette and i actually recommend you this product especially when you're doing a little bit of uh, videos and you're doing um some um, photos the charlotte tilbury products are really great for it i hope you enjoyed it leave me some comments below and um it's been great to do it take care bye bye